So another feature that we're really excited to introduce uh, with Heartwood is viewing keys. And with that, I'll introduce our head of regulatory affairs, uh, the Artful Dodger. Thanks, Josh. So yeah, as, um, as was mentioned, viewing keys, our support for viewing keys was added in version 2.1.2. Um, and as we're all aware, the, 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 the key functionality, the, the, the different Zcash from many other cryptocurrencies is that it includes the ability to create shielded transactions. And uh, this is a representation of, uh, of a series of shielded transactions where the transaction details are, um, are, are hidden. And what viewing keys allow you to do is get a view for a third party into the details of the transaction. So normally, only the participants to a transaction, the sender and the recipient, uh, get to see the details. But what uh, the owner of, a, of, a, of, a, of an address can do is they can generate a viewing key and share it with a third party to allow them to see the same information that the owner of that address can see. So here's an example where the, uh, the, the owner of the first address there on, on the left has created a viewing key and shared it with us. And we get to see that they recently received a transaction for 0.14 uh, Zcash coins. And um, they, they don't get to see who sent it because that information isn't, isn't exposed to them. But they do get to see that in the memo field, there was a, a message that suggests it was in payment for some donuts. If we look at the next um, uh, viewing key representation, this is for, for, for another uh, address. We see here uh, some more uh, transactions. So they've received um, uh, three transactions and they've sent one transaction. Uh, they've received transactions uh, relating to uh, uh, an invoice, um, some event supplies for real world crypto. Um, and then there's a, there's a transaction down at the bottom where there's, been, where there's nothing in the memo field. Um, and then second from the bottom is a transaction that they've sent. So there we can see that it's their address that sent this transaction. We see who the recipient is. Uh, we see the amount and we see that this is actually a little love note saying, saying I love you. Um, and then the person who received that transaction will get the message I love you, but they again don't necessarily get to see who, who sent that, tra that transaction to them or who sent that message to them. So viewing keys really are, are a way of allowing someone else to see the same information, the same uh, transaction information that the owner of an address sees. Now, this has a number of, uh, of uh, use cases. Um, it uh, allows um, exchanges to support shielded deposits and to be able to detect when a deposit has been received at a shielded address whilst keeping the spending keys for that address secure using, for example, a hardware security module. It also allows exchanges and custodians or, or other parties who need to have third party auditing um, of their Zcash holdings to hold those coins in a shielded address and to provide a third party um, auditor with the viewing keys to verify how many coins they're holding and what the transactions in and out were. And there are other uh, use cases for Zcash, uh, for example, Zpages and Zbay, which we expect um, will also be able to, to make use of viewing keys to enhance the, the functionality that they've built on top of the, of the Zcash blockchain. A couple of things to be aware of with shielded transactions. Um, they, they allow all of the activity associated with an address to be viewed by, by the third party. Um, so all of the past transactions and going forward, um, all of the future transactions received at or sent from that address can be seen with that viewing key. Um, there is some other functionality that we, that we plan to expose in the future called payment disclosure that will allow you to share information about a single atomic transaction, uh, but that's uh, further down the line. It's on the, on the product backlog. But for now, we think viewing keys represent a, a, an important step forward. They, they unlock or remove an obstacle to uh, exchanges that want to support shielded uh, addresses for shielded deposits and, uh, and shielded withdrawals. And uh, we also think that it's gonna help regulators get more comfortable with the idea 
that um, you know, a regulated entity will be able to support a cryptocurrency like Zcash with very strong privacy preserving qualities while at the same time being able to fulfill their regulatory obligations like having third party independent audits and being able to share information with the regulator where necessary. So that's viewing keys and uh, now I'll hand you back to Josh. Thanks, Sajor.